Is it tuna or is it chicken? The infamous question was asked by celebrity Jessica Simpson back in 2003. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? I know it's tuna, but it, it says chicken. Perhaps a better question would be, is it tuna or is it some other fish? A recent survey conducted by the nonprofit group Oceana found that the mislabeling of fish or fish fraud is a common problem. The survey found that from 2010 to 2012, one third of fish in the U.S. was mislabeled. This is Greg Lindbergh, the owner of Absolutely Fresh Seafood and Shucks Restaurant. He's been in the seafood business since he started selling shrimp and oysters out of a truck in Omaha back in 1979. He showed me two different types of fish as an example of how they could be mislabeled. These are two white fish. One is Vasa, Swai, and Gaseous, three names for the same fish. And this is Orange Ruffy. Orange Ruffy costs almost double what Vasa does. The two fish look different raw, but remarkably similar when cooked. So there's the temptation to make more money. But that's not always the case. You know, I think there's probably more problems with ignorance and just calling it what you think it is instead of uh, what sells. Like uh, any whitefish might be a sea bass. Which the sea bass sells. Well, some people may be unscrupulous here or in Miami or New York or whatever. But here I think it's more often that just they don't know. They think that's what it is. But I don't think it's fair to make people think that they're eating something if they care about where the fish is coming from. I went back in the kitchen and found Brian Lemock preparing some fish. I asked him what consumers can do to fight fish fraud. You know, ask questions is the biggest thing I can say. Do your research on your own so that you're an informed consumer just like you'd be buying anything else. Lindbergh says that fish fraud is less of a problem here in the Midwest than in coastal cities. There's not the incentive, there's not the volume, and there's not the tourism. Uh, it's, it's a different game here in Omaha. We're lucky that way. I'm here outside Lindbergh's fish market and restaurant in Omaha, Nebraska. Lindbergh says that fish fraud shouldn't cause safety concerns, but rather motivate consumers to stay informed and to ask questions to make sure that the fish they're eating is the fish they paid for. For Star City News, I'm Brian Fry.